Mike Murdoch, precious friend. I'll be 78 years old in April. Next month, February, I celebrate 58 years of ministry in 92 countries. Thank you for being in my life. I'm concerned about the politics in America. And I want you and I to pray regarding our president, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, those that are running for the presidency. Father, we're praying about our United States. We've seen warfare. We've seen total dishonor of the Bible. And we're concerned about our next leader. Father, we ask you, whoever it is, if it's Mr. Trump, Nikki Haley, who's been such a blessing through the United Nations, Mr. Joe Biden, whoever it is, we ask you for a leader who believes in the Bible. We ask for a leader who loves babies and children, who doesn't have a hatred to our children. We ask you to give us a leader who loves preachers, who loves the house of the Lord, who loves godly things, Lord. Father, we don't know who the politicians are when the TV cameras are off. We don't know what they say when the TV cameras are not running. We ask you to raise up godly leaders who believe in Jesus of Nazareth, who believe in miracles, who believe in integrity, goodness, following the laws of God. Lord, you said if we would follow your laws, we would prosper. And we're watching America go through the crisis in the financial world. I ask you, Father, to expose all evil and to show us how to vote in the coming elections, in the state, in the government elections. Father, direct us. I ask you to expose every liar, every deceiver in the political world and give us leaders who have a passion for your presence and a total persuasion about the Bible. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's pray for our elections. We don't know who people really are sometimes, but that God would give us somebody that not only loves the Bible, reads the Bible, and loves preachers and churches, but especially someone who loves our babies, our children, who wants them to stay alive and prosper. Mike Murdoch here. The free book of the day is book 24, Seeds of Wisdom, the book of the day. And so when you call my number, look at it carefully, and it'll be a blessing. And it's called Yes Book, my telephone number. Yes, Y-E-S-B-O-O-K. I don't know what the first numbers are. I wish I had them here. But uh, my telephone number is Yes Book. I'd love the book of the day. I've written hundreds. Today's the 24th day of January, so it's booked 24. I'm so sorry I don't have that uh, new number with me. You got it there, son? Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Uh,